afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And guys, I couldn't wait. I, I'm going to go ahead and review this one. We're going to do a vintage RV review. And I love this. my favorite type of video to do. This is one that, after much deliberation, we're going to sell. I don't want to sell it, but we're going to sell it. We need the room. Uh, one that we, uh, Dad actually bought this one about three years ago for his collection. Uh, about four, three to four years ago. And guys, this is a rare one. This is one you'll probably never find anywhere else again. I think he's selling it way too cheap for what it is. Something you're not going to find anywhere. You're not going to find this build quality today. This is a 1985. Yes, I'm talking about 1985 Marty McFly Back to Future <laughs> era. Barth Motorhome. This is the model 322B. Thir approximately 32 feet long class a motorhome built on a p30 chassis it's got the 454 v8 uh dad actually drove this thing back from he bought it from a an rv collector in indiana about four years ago it's been stored inside for the past well three year three to four years down here we, we've got a big uh climate controlled heat and air controlled indoor storage facility we keep the antique rvs in and um and it was stored several years in a similar facility up there so this is not a rusty unit from up north or anything like that so don't think that because just because it came from indiana that's where the guy keeps his facility in we brought it here and we're going to sell it guys um we got to do a couple little things to it got to clean it up a little on the inside the outside looks great it's been stored inside it shows 13,000 miles with being an 85 model and it's a five digit odometer. Who knows on that? But it is what it is, guys. This is an absolutely beautiful high end motorhome. And I know this isn't for everybody. Even if you're not a buyer for a motorhome like this, this is still an awesome RV to look at. Just to see how far we've come as RVers, I mean, for in the past 37 years. Of course, you got to realize 37 years ago, this 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 was the top of the line without, you know, in a, in a gas motorhome. I mean, Barth started back in 1963. They actually started out building aluminum travel trailers to compete with Airstream. And they got into the motorhome business and decided instead of trying to compete with Fleetwood and everybody else, they decided to only build custom high-end motorhomes for upscale buyers that in other words they didn't build anything cheap i mean back then this thing brand new was was about seventy two thousand dollars in 1985 that was an insane amount of money for a class a motorhome i'm talking insane this is all aircraft uh quality aluminum guys riveted not glued it has metal roof all one piece big 454 runs great and, and yeah you bet we're going to drive this thing if the rain lets off uh, i'm not going to pull them out right now but it does i have the all the original awnings the cloth awnings are still in good shape it's the uh that matches the exterior of the rv you can see the lights work look at the chrome bumpers Tires look good. Look at that 1980s backup camera. Guys, and get this, it works. You know, you can't get a backup camera today that lasts four or five years. This 1985 backup camera works great. Black and white, of course, but it works. Does have a trailer hitch on the back. 50 amp electrical service. Now, one thing about it we've got to fix, if it's fixable, which I'm sure it is, it does have, and I mean, it's got the old school 6.5 pre-emerald. This is the McCall Edison Onan gasoline generator. It has 167 hours on it. Um, it does try to crank, but it does have the smell of old gas. So we are going to try to get that generator going. I'm, my RV is, is, tech is about 95% sure he can get that thing running and putting out like it's supposed to so we are going to get it running 
obviously being a 1985 model parts are going to be pretty scarce but he's fairly confident we're going to get it running so if it can be running we are going to get it running for that price and guys that price is 199 and let me tell you something um i don't want to sell this coach and if you don't buy this coach it's not going to hurt my feelings absolutely one bit you've got all the matching uh window awnings the glasses, the glass is perfect. The Barth Rangers. Even the remote spotlight still works. It's got air horns. We did a little bit of things on the inside when we first got it. Uh, we had the seats recovered. You know, we, we did kind of a, a, a vinyl leather material that wasn't original but kept in the spirit of the original as far as colors and we put carpet in at least new carpet in it so it kept it kind of original looking but changed it a little bit man look at this i mean this thing is just so unique looking totally different than anything it looks like a mini bluebird bus totally different than anything you see made today it's got double roof airs, original roof airs. Both ice cold. Let's look inside. Got a power step. I am hooked into shore power right now, by the way. I'll show you what we did with the inside. Now guys, I'm gonna make a point. You know, what I don't understand about modern RV manufacturing is, especially like the air conditioners. You know, back then, this is the original ACs, the original Dometic Dual Therm ACs that were put in this RV in 1985. 37 years later, now this was back when they put R12 in them, which they don't do anymore. Every, I mean, R12, so much more colder than what they make today and what they put today in RVACs. I mean, look at the, I mean, this thing will freeze you out of here. Look at that. We're getting down into the 20s and it's 80 something degrees outside, even when it's cloudy. But this is what gets me guys. They cannot build an air conditioner now that won't drop into the 50s, that but will drop below much below 50 degrees and it only lasts 10 years at best. But back then, in the mid 80s, without all the technology and everything that they had back then, they could build an air conditioner back then that could get this cold and last 37 years. That's what kills me about modern RVs. We could do it back then, but we can't do it now. <laughs> in the same way with RVs. You think there's ever gonna be a 2022 in any brand that's gonna look this good after 37 years? Now you can see how we did the upholstery. Um, we did the front seats, the couch, and this is all the original furniture just recovered so everything fits perfectly. This makes a bed. You've got, and look at this, all the original books and manuals too. That's a fold up table. We did the, uh, the, the barrel chairs, had them redone, and uh, had the carpet redone. Look at these walls. These are the textured walls they used to do back then. Almost like carpeted walls, but like they used to do in the 70s, but not as extreme. Um, original blinds in good shape. I mean, cabinets original. Amazing. Uh, CB. I said it shows 13,265 miles, but again uh original radio but i'm gonna say that doesn't work there's your original 1980s gps and i know you can't see it on this camera because the refresh rate between the crt monitor and this camera but when you look at it in person it's got a good clear picture from that original backup camera and it works look at these tvs now i don't think this one works but I would leave it up there just because of the 
image. I mean, you can always get you a TV, a, a modern TV put on your table, your dash or something when you need it. Got the original TVs in the back TV, still works after 37 years. You can't even get a modern TV the last five years now. <laughs> it's just absolutely crazy, guys. The padded dash looks great. No smoke odors in here. You've still got the original light switches. I mean, this is just a cool, cool motorhome. Uh, solid surface countertops, original. And you know, back then when you bought a new motorhome, especially something as expensive as a Barth, they gave you freebies. They're still in here. Barth umbrella. You still got all the original Barth keychains. Um, Barth, Barth. Open this cab. Now I left all this stuff in here for the next buyer. Barth coffee cups. And there's some blender. <laughs> Sinks. Stove top. Look at this, guys. Original microwave convection oven. Look at this. Remember these? Set the time. Hey, hang on. It works. Dang. Yeah, I don't make them like this. Now the refrigerator has been changed out. It was changed out right before we bought it. So it's a little bigger than what originally came in it. So if I guess if you had to have one thing, it does rub a little right here, but it is an RV two way, runs off propane electric. You can see negative 18, it works. Um, that's not a U-line, that's a Dometic ice maker. So and those things, I doubt it works. Those things didn't work when they were new, but. <laughs> Digital alarm clock works. Look at this. Original tank monitors work. Yeah. Batteries works. Got the original bamboo accordion doors. Well, not bamboo, but I forgot what they called that kind of wood back then, but man. <laughs> like I said, guys, you'll look far and wide. You're never gonna find another motorhome like this. There's just some extra car, but there's a lamp that was left in here. They even finished, look at that, they even put that, uh, I don't know what you, velour or covered wall covering in the closets too. I mean, yeah, this thing doesn't have Wi-Fi. Huh. Wi-Fi and internet wouldn't even a gleam and bar side when they built this thing but this was back when RVing was RVing a compass and a map CB radio that's your table right here by the way well let's see if it's got the lights yeah it does have the closet lights that bulb was burnt out but I know you really can't see it let me turn on my uh Still wrap them. Wow, that's, that's some chairs. There's your table that goes in front of the couch if you want it to. Uh, coat rack. Well, shoe organizer. We try to leave as much stuff in here from the previous owner as possible. Yeah, they'd owned it for several years. Look at this shower. Of course, you got to. bathroom on the other side it's only 32 feet long the original toilet now it does need the uh which i do have to replace these bulbs real quick um 
the cover right here got hot and melted it's that same plastic cover that uh, goes on these front lights right up here and it's the same you can buy that that material at home depot or lowe's it's the same thing that goes on like fluorescent lights and commercial buildings this is plastic stuff right here if you leave those lights on too long those old style iridescent lights they do get hot and melt that that's what happened with that and of course back here guys you do have two twin beds again the 37 year old air conditioner spitting icicles at us that just kills me guys why can't they do this in 2022 look at these overhead cabinets look at this of course i know this tv's not gonna pick up anything remember these oh i just knocked the knob off <laughs> give it just a minute it comes on remember these uhf of course it's not gonna pick up anything but you can go to uhf pick up the different channels there's you another radio another alarm clock Incredible. I don't know guys I mean if you wanted to you could actually remove this nightstand and put you a queen bed back here but I would hate to ruin the originality of this RV I mean of course if you buy the motor home you do what you want just don't tell me about it and I hope and pray whoever buys this thing enjoys it for what it is and keeps it original if it was me I wouldn't take the radios the TVs out or nothing I mean, just, just for the fact that they're all original. Anyway, guys, um, we are going to offer it for sale for $19.9 firm. Cash only or trade. There's no financing. It's an 85 model. There's no financing available at all. I mean, you know, your bank may have something. I don't know. You might check with them, but... I mean, this is going to be for a collector or somebody who's into vintage RVs. Really cool, these old books and manuals. I was thumbing through them. There's something really cool I want to point out. I haven't seen in years. Uh, first of all, a lot of handwritten notes in here. But I remember, you know, a long time ago, you know, they didn't have cell phones, smartphones, and computers where you can look up articles and stuff. When they saw articles in magazines that they were interested in, as far as like equipment they wanted to buy for their RVs or, or different campgrounds they wanted to do, they tore the page out of the magazine and hung on to them. And they stuck them in the owner's manuals. I mean, this is really cool. And there they are. That's what they did with this. I mean, I haven't seen that in I don't know how many years, but there it is. A lot of handwritten notes in here, a lot of receipts in here going all the way back to the 70s. I mean, 80s. I mean, this is definitely a, a very unique motorhome, guys, that, uh, I mean, it fires right up. Anyway, it's 199. And um, now, guys, keep in mind, this is a 1985 this is a carbureted 454 V8. This is not fuel injected. It's a three-speed automatic. It's not overdrive. This is not something, I mean, this was back when motorhomes were, I mean, 60, 65 miles an hour tops is as fast as it'd go. And that was running wide open, burning gas like crazy. You know, back then, I mean, you didn't run a motorhome, you know, 55, that was, that's what you ran a motorhome back then. So, you know, if you're, you know, these aren't something, if you're going to take cross country trips in, this is like a Route 66 motorhome, state highway motorhome. I mean, you can go on the interstate, yeah. But, I mean, it's a right lane cruiser for sure. And uh, we are going to clean it up. It does have a little bit of, a little dirt on the outside, uh, you know, stain on the windshield, stuff like that. We're going to clean up and clean the inside up for you. But there's no smoke or pet odors. 
and I wanted to film it guys because you know I was going to wait a day or two get a couple little things fixed on it get it cleaned up make it really look good for you but I don't know I just it was killing me having it out here not being able to share it with y'all and uh, plus you know somebody driving through might see this thing and buy it y'all never get a chance to see it so I, I didn't want to deprive y'all of that because you know these old dinosaurs like this are survivors are getting harder and harder to find i mean 37 years old look this good why can't they make them like this today i don't know maybe someone one of y'all can tell me or maybe there's somebody that you know i know a lot of people in the rv industry do watch my channel like other dealerships and i know there's some you know some of the some of the reps from some of the manufacturers watch my youtube channel maybe y'all can tell me even if you charge any you know, they're expensive enough now but even if you charge a little more i would gladly pay it to get something that would last this long and i don't know why they can't build air conditioners and tvs and anything else in life that can last this long i just don't get it you know keep your fancy technology i would rather have dependability and durability over the latest tech but everybody's different guys a lot of people are the other way but anyway um 199 come check it out for yourself you know we'll plug it into power hopefully we'll get the generator run in the next few days and you can check it out too um, it does try to crank so i know it's not locked up or anything like that it just smells like old gas it's just got old gas in the carburetor so hopefully we can take that carburetor off clean it out real good it should be fine call before coming to look you'll come see this rv i will keep it plugged into shore power um you know if it doesn't sell in the next couple of weeks we may take it back over there to the building because we don't want to leave it outside for a huge amount of time so you know if that's the case you want to call and make arrangements to come look at it we'll have to uh, take you over there to see it because we're not going to have it outside in this in the weather very long we, we don't want to leave it out there like that but anyway thank y'all for watching i appreciate it stay tuned we're going to take it down the road um the only thing i can say we might have a little bit of flat spots on the tires we're set on a concrete floor for the past three, three years or so but uh, those should go away as we drive it but uh hang tight guys let me get somebody to ride with me and we'll take this thing for a spin hang tight see you in a minute from the driver's seat all right everybody now we're going to drive this 85 bar so i'm kind of looking forward to this got my good buddy shane he's going to be our cameraman for today and guys uh if you're interested in this bar got questions about it give shane a call shane what's your phone number 423-347-8478 give him a call or text he'll answer any questions you have and guys i, I don't know what kind of market we're going to get on this i mean so but call or text him before coming down just to make sure that it hasn't sold because who knows <laughs> this is definitely one uh, interesting one but it's really cool to drive this a lot of memories still even got the uh the uh, dimmer switch on your foot you know you hit with your foot like old pickup trucks used to have oh nice and we'll take her down the road of course i don't i guess it does have cruise control huh? i think it does <laughs> we had it back then. Of course, I don't want to push this motor too hard, but it ought to be fine. These old 454s were just freaking awesome. I mean, these things were bulletproof. And they sound good too. I still can't believe that that original 37 year old backup camera works. <laughs>
These things were no hot rod back then, but they got you down the road. Uh, all the gauges work. That, that's pretty unusual. It's actually surprisingly easy to drive. Transmission shifts smooth. I feel a little bump in the tires, but before it sit on that concrete, but it's not near as bad as I thought it'd be. And we're hitting 50 right here. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is maybe drive it just down here, down too late for a little bit, instead of getting on the interstate. Just because it's rush hour, not having overdrive and all that stuff, so. Or what passes for rush hour down here. Plus, I want to feel this thing shift a few more times, but I mean, I, so far everything, to be this age is, is pretty pretty darn amazing. Kind of cool to be back driving a P30 again. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Like a time machine. <laughs> uh, back then, you know, just about everything was either P30 or Oshkosh, which was, a, which was basically a John Deere or souped up Ford chassis. But just about probably, it's funny because today everything's all forward. Back then, all the Class A's were Chevrolet or P30s. I said guys this ain't no uh 85 mile an hour motor home but i mean it should hit 60 65 okay but i don't think i'm going to go uh you know much faster than that just because of what it is because y'all do what you want but Turn signals work. Huh. You guys, uh, probably one of the smoothest old motor homes I've driven in a, in a day or two. I think I, maybe I should have took it on the interstate, actually. Brakes are good. Anyway, guys, um, give us a call if you're interested in this motor home. I don't think you're going to have much of an issue with it. Uh, give us a call. Uh, Shane, what's your phone number, buddy? It's 423-347-8478. Yeah, give Shane a call or a text anytime. Any questions about it? Uh, Glad to help you out. Uh, you know, smash us a thumbs up. I don't get to do these vintage RV reviews very often. Let us know in the comments what you think about it, even if it's not your uh, your type of RV. It's still cool to look, watch and look at. And thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.